ಹಾಕಿದ್ದು ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಸರ್ ಹೆಲೋ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ತಾರಾನಾಥ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದಿಕ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಟು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಮೇಶ್ವರ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಮೆಮೋರಿಯಲ್ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ದಿಸ್ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ಬೈ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರಾಜುಯೇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಯ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ತಾರನಾಥ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದಿಕ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆಮೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವರ್ಗೀಯ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಮೇಶ್ವರ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಸರ್ ಅವರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಸ್ವರ್ಗೀಯ ಪಂಡಿತ್ ತಾರಾನಾಥ್ ಜೀಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಬೂನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಬೈ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಗುರುಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ವರ್ದಿ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದಿಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಷನರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಿ ಜೆ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಗುರುಸ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವರ್ಗೀಯ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಮೇಶ್ವರ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬ್ರೈಟೆಸ್ಟ್ today on session 3rd session 13 of this webinar series we have another guru with us dr pumesh vipurat sir principal of dgm ayurvedic medical college and hospital gadag sir has pursued his undergraduation and post graduation from the dgm ayurvedic medical college sir is renowned ayurvedic physician and very famous for treating pakshaghata sir has treated considerable number of pakshaghata patients sir is honored with awards madhav vibhushana charakashri ayurved sanjeevani vaidya ratna and chalukya vaidya vidwan vidwana today sir is focusing on recent approaches in pakshaghata taranath government ayurvedic medical college and hospital and department of post graduate studies in kai chikitsa welcomes you sir very best to you thank you sir we can start the session sir thank you thank you madam thank you good morning everybody respected beloved principal madam saida attar madam and senior professor hod of department of dravyagunda dr rs ganiger sir and renowned ayurvedic physician good academician dr madhavi diggavi sir madhav madhav diggavi sir and all participants and staff of the post graduation studies of dgm the arnath ayurveda medical college gadag good morning everybody due to covid 19 crisis almost all over india webinar seminars are going on last 3 months we are fighting against corona virus in spite it is being made a better way of understanding ayurveda science by eminent speakers all over india the taranath ayurveda medical college has organized this webinar series of lectures on pakshagata by eminent stalwarts of ayurveda all over india pandit dr taranath sir is a versatile personality he was a modern teacher musician sanskrit pandit philosopher social reformer freedom fighter and great ayurvedic physician his contemporary gadag sri virappa kautal freedom fighter when he is talking with tarana sir he expressed the propagation of ayurveda science or the provision of ayurveda science what is the fate of ayurveda at that time pandit tarana sir has told no 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 virappa it is the where ayurveda the where modern medical science stops there ayurveda starts about 30 years back virappa kautal has shared this expression of dr pandit taranath sir i have been inspired by the world of dr pandit taranath i have not seen so i am grateful to his personality on his on, on his uh, name call the college the college department of kaitikisa is organized the yam ishwar d dr yam ishwar d memorial special guest lecture series on pakshagata is a legend of ayurveda dr yam ishwar d is a great ayurveda physician and a model teacher and he has 
developed in the uh, Manchakarma treatment, he not only recognized, he made thousands of thousands of young budding scientists to repair junior Dr. M. Ishwaradi. All over India, all over the world, they are practicing Panchakarma very successfully. On his name, these web seminars are conducted, especially uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Pakshagata series of lecture by different uh, eminent speakers. So it has been made. I'm, I'm very much happy and proud to be the part of this seminar. Uh, instead of sharing, I am very much thankful to the organizer who they gave me an opportunity to hear so many experts' opinion. Said, Madam Said Akhtar Fatima, principal GMC, GMC uh, TJMC, has taken a uh, wonderful initiation under the guidance of Dr. Rashekar Ganger and uh, Sri Madhava Digavi and other staffs of the Department of Coast Education. I am once again thankful. Just this is one of the biggest institutes in North Karnataka. DG Melmalaga Ayurvedic Medical College. This is renowned for management of Vata Vadis and Pakshagata. About 33 decades we are serving to the society in the management of Pakshagata. Today, my topic is Pakshagata, a recent approaches to achieve optimum outcome. Many of them we are treating Pakshagata, but to come out of the disease or to get maximum outcome in the management. So I would like to share some few experience with you. Already renowned previous speakers elaboratedly delivered concepts, pathology, treatment of Pakshagata. I don't want to touch once again. Pakshagata is one of the major disease, third leading cause for the death. One among the Nanatmaja Vatavikara, it makes social, economical, mental burden on the family and patients. Lot of invention in diagnosis as well as in the prognosis of cerebrovascular accidents have been invented, like so many investigations, computer, computer tomography, MRI, etc. In spite, there are so many medicines also invented, but in spite, many of the patients are suffering with the disabilities. It is a need of our end to make the patient as much as possible come out of the disability and the complications. Our ancestors has contributed a lot and modern medical invented more. So we have to read and adopt all these things in a typical manner. Stepwise approaches and understanding the clinical condition is very important in management of Pakshagata. Because diagnosis and prognosis of the clinical conditions, they are giving much up, uh, the maximum outcome in treating the disease. The routine treatment or the special attention in the management of Pakshagata is very mandatory because we used to treat Pakshagata means Abhanga, Svetna, Virechana, or Bastisam, Shamana Chikisa. Of course, they are the routine treatment. In addition to that, the medical management, the, the routine, in addition to special attention in different conditions entirely. I have, I have seen some thousands of the patients. Till then, I am, every patient, whenever I am seeing, it is new to me. Hence, all the Pakshagatas are not one. Every Pakshagata is not having the same treatment. Multidiscipline approach is very, it is a need of the time, a need of the hour. So, there, there is a multidiscipline approach is to, to be adopted. It is one of the medical emergency in which casualty management also takes important role. Because so many conditions in which the patient needs casualty management, ICU management. So there is mandatory. After stabilizing the risk factors, immediately suturing into Ayurvedic treatment plays an important role to achieve optimum result. Why would like to tell you as early as possible, we are suturing to Ayurvedic treatment, patients get good benefit. When the patient has developed already the complications, spasticity or the other complications, at that time when we approach this, then the result may delay. <clears throat> we should know our limitations, where Ayurveda helps, where not. Where Panchakarma, where not. Where Shamana, where not. So, as it has been told in our text, as Vata Rogastu Asadhyo Ayam Daiva Yoga Sushiddhati 
Anumanene Purvanti Vajdekam Na Pratitneya. Many of the diseases are chronic and they are not treatable in such conditions where we stand. So we have to make uh, the come to a conclusion and the, we have to treat according to the cause. Taking confidence of the patient and parents because they are they are in hurry to get rid of the disease. They are approaching doctor to doctor, institution to institution. So here making the uh, the patients convinced in which stage it is. First stage, second stage, third stage. Of course, it has been not told. I am going to share my experience with you. Because the patient, what he, what are they having? They are they want uh, immediately after attack of the stroke or pakshagata, patient and parents will be having much of tension. For that, they are searching who is the best doctor, which is the best institute, where I have to go, where I have to take the treatment. In that condition, they are searching within one week or two weeks, they are going the n number of doctors and getting the treatment where the patient needs emergency care. At that time, the patient has been not to take, uh, not, not taken the proper treatment, they may get the complications. So, it is a Pakshaka, is not a, a day or two days, a day's treatment, it's a long term management. So, here the role of patient and patient takes measure. So, to achieve optimum uh, result, because patient to be convinced, I am going to be well with IV treatment or with different kinds of treatments, and the parents also have to have confidence in our science. So, for that, we have to make a typical, uh, the, uh, con uh, the convincing to the patients, then only they will believe on us, they will continue because they need repeated courses of the treatment. Hence, the role of patient and parents is also very important. As it has been told in the previous the speakers, brain which controls whole body, the different parts of the functions around the clock. So, different parts of the bodies, the brain is not having storage of glucose. Every moment, every second, it needs oxygen, it needs nutrients, it needs glucose. Every contraction of heart, every contraction of heart goes 20% of the blood to the brain. Every, uh, the, the brain vessels plays an important role in Pakshagata. From carotid artery to the periphery of the cortex, different parts, different arteries are going to giving supply to the brain. Uh, the blood supply and nutrition is essential. Carotid artery block, middle cerebral artery block, posterior cerebral artery block, or vertebral cerebral artery block. Different arteries where they have been blocked, they are giving such a symptoms of group of symptoms. Hence, it has been called as cerebrovascular accident. So here. There are so many cerebrovascular accidents in which there are what we used to call them as risk factors. Vata Prakopaka Nidanas, Vata Prakopaka, Vata Prakopaka Nidanas, what we have been explained, Rukhshashital, Lagwan, Yavayat, Prajagavari. Like that, we should also know hypertension is one of the biggest, biggest the risk factor, risk factor, risk factor. So here, the hypertension and the diabetes, atherosclerosis, smoking, alcohol, heart disease, etc., are the risk factors. So here, <clears throat> the different kinds of risk factors may not be the cause for the uh, pakshagata or uh, cerebral collection. All hypertension cases may not be get Pakshagata. When, when we are observing 100 patients of Pakshagata, many of them or maximum number of the patients suffers with hypertension. Maximum number suffers with diabetes. Hence, risk factors like hypertension, diabetes, atherosclerosis are the important factors of cerebrovascular damages. And uh, the smoking is also one of the associated risk factor chronic alcoholic or more consumption of alcohol also to cause the uh, pakshagata and uh, the heart disease like aortic stenosis, mitral stenosis, mitral regurgitation, uh, IHDs and post operation of the heart diseases, valvular replacement, they may also form the thrombus and embolism gives rest to pakshagata. So for that 
So we used to diagnose the patient by doshic dominancy. So vata janya, vata pitta janya, vata kapha janya, asriksara, so that is dhatukshay um, janya, margavana janya, different conditions like the doshic dominancy, we have to clinically assess it. Clinical diagnosis is very important. In addition to that, associated lab investigation like complete blood picture, biology, the serological information, and the random blood sugar, or the other lab investigations is also essential to know the risk factors, how much they are, uh, how they are. And uh, the recent invention has been made very better way to understand the, the damages. Computed tomography, magnetic resonance image, angiography, carotid Doppler study, many, many investigations shows the exact cause of the uh, uh, Pakshagata as well as the stage of the Pakshagata, where the place of the paksha, uh, the damage which have been taken place. So this helps us to uh, make the prognosis. It is not only disease of nervous system, it is the multi-system involvement. From the patient after stroke, they may affect of over the pulmonary region, or the respiratory system, GIT system, urinary system, and cardiovascular system also. So the multi-systemic involvement is there. So we have to take care of other system, uh, the information. And uh, the other, other system changes, which are, and when we are clinically examining, uh, the multi-system involvement is to be also to be controlled. As there is a, so many classification among them, Margavarana Jana Pakshagata. See, this is Vata Kafajana. We can correlate with Vata Kafajana or thromboembolic strokes or Margavarana Jana Pakshagata. Among 100 patients of Pakshagata, 65 to 80 percent, 70 to 80 percent of Pakshagata are Margavarana Jana or thromboembolic strokes. Or they are, we are calling it as so. Now, some of the conditions they may be in terms of ischemia. Some of them infarct. Those infarct are in lacunar, smaller infarct, multiple smaller infarct, massive infarct. So they are giving the uh, the different clinical features according to that. So mild, moderate, severe conditions we have to observe. That is the margavanajana or thromboembolic strokes. Then second classification, what pittajana pakshagata, we can correlate with intracerebral hemorrhage. Bleeding. So, this could be hemorrhagic stroke, what you can call that. So, the different kinds of hemorrhagic stroke like subdural hemorrhage, the barconide hemorrhage, the, the thalamic bleed, or different wherever the part of the brain vessels are ruptures, they forms the hematoma, leading to a suppression the, uh, of the brain and giving the symptoms of pakshagata. The cause is bleeding there. Whereas in margavanajana, cause is within the vessel, there is a thrombus and emboli, which makes the block of the artery giving rise to a <coughs> giving rise to a insufficiency of oxygen nutrition to the brain, giving rise to a dysfunction. And the Atukshaj in the Pakshagata, the nutritional or in essentials, the uh, condition which we are going to facing such so that is also one of the uh, Pakshagata. Then the diagnosis at Avastas, we have to make that diagnosis of the patient with Pastamba, Nirpastamba, what we call it, Avarnajanya, then Samsargajanya, multiple complications of Pakshagata and prognosis, very important. The diagnosis when we are knowing, so Niramikarana, Shodhana, Shamana or continuation treatment. Samsargajanya, Shuddhavadajanya or Vadakafajanya, Vadapittajanya, so like that. Multiple complications like spasticity, rigidity, bed sores, and uh, along with the pneumonia, seizures, multiple complications with Pakshagata. So there is a, where the multiple complications may not be uh, adopted to the Ayurvedic treatment at that condition. They need the special care or the special treatment, the modern medical help. So prognosis is very important in treating the cases. The, Prognosis depends upon the area of the damage. Prognosis depends upon the size of the damage, or the area of the damage, and uh, multiple damages, or some other condition, massive bleed or massive infarct. They may compress the brain 
some of the patients they will die within 12 hours 24 hours 48 hours 72 hours so when such condition so many patients they used to come early symptoms when we are admitting them they may go is goes into extension of the stroke so at that condition we should know our the prognosis by means of clinical as well as the laboratory and the special investigation if it if it is treatable in ayurveda then we can otherwise we can refer to the higher center for the uh, emergency management so here i will come to the point of the management of course i may be speed very much speed because i would like to share the few practical experience rather than the theoretical because where we we used to make treatment how it is to be made where patient where the panchakarma not to be adopted why it is not adopted where shamana how much where modern medicine how, how when it is to be given or when it is to be taken opinion so like that so i would like to share more things regarding the patients uh, uh, i will give some uh, uh, practical experiences photos of the patient different patients so management as such it depends upon the cause damage and prognosis once again what it means depends on the cause what we used to tell them shuddha vada janya vada pitta janya vada kapha janya it could be thrombolic ischemia it could be thrombotic in fact it could be a bleed small bleed or a big bleed so like that vada pitta janya causes and damages the minor the, the higher risk the patients causes more very uh, damages they, they are making the more damages higher is the lower the risk that they making lower the damages hence higher the risk more the damage prognosis is very poor hence the line of treatment general line of treatment where the stabilizing of the, all the risk factors we can treat as much as have been previous because have been told what are these line of treatment may follow like abenga swedana like that so panchakarma vahi parimarjana chikitsa and the parimarjana chikitsa here the snehana swedana shodhana shamana etc selecting the oils selecting the procedure continuing the treatment follow the treatment very important so hence the different kinds of panchakarma where not where to be it is very important in management of pakshagata concentration towards risk factors in one our treatment should not increase the risk factors like hypertension diabetes we have to control by means of opinion of modern medical science and stabilizing the hypertension diabetes then only we'll have a good a good outcome then prevention of prevention of progressive damages some of the condition there is when the patient early comes to the, the hospital after settling the patient comes to the hospital there is no problem because you told to iron treatment but at early stage the patient comes then there may be a progression so there may be a triggering of factors of the platelet multiple thrombi forms that goes and block the arteries or the bleeding starts goes on increasing the bleeding it may makes the damages so for that we should be very careful and if it is not possible we can refer the higher center prevention of complications very important when we are not taking care of these damages they are going to getting aspirin pneumonia they are going to getting seizures they are going to getting so many complications to prevent such cases to be admitted in higher center and they have to stabilize all these factors then only we will have a good outcome taking care of three b's care of bed so means back bowel bladder very important in pakshagata cases because after stroke massive stroke they used to lie on supine position on the bed the heat of the bed urination from the bed and the infection which is present over the bed makes the pressure source called as bed source when the bed source starts it is very difficult to come out from the patient because it takes a lot of time to heal the uh, bed source so automatically we will be lacking behind 
of other procedures for panchakarma and other treatment. So, taking care of not committing the such medicines, developing in the patients. And uh, the second is, bowel is very important. Patients are developing because old age and taking medicines, not taking food, they used to not taking fluids, they are getting, most of the patients are getting constipation, hence it is to be monitored with uh, uh, sramshana or vedana or kind of the laxatives to be given. If it is not possible, matrabasti can also be adopted. So by which the uh, vata, uh, the, the anuloma is to be carried, by which the patient is going to recover. Third important is bladder. Bladder means here once again, there may be a retention of urine, there may be a incontinence of urine. Retention of urine, immediately we have to make arrangement for emergency. Then uh, the putting catheter and removing the urine. Second is incontinence of urine. We should be careful. The patient, if it is the same, kept, definitely it is going to converting into bed source. So hence, keeping the patient till the patients to be uh, mobilized, till the patient is to be kept, catheterization and repeated changing the catheters once in 15, minimum 8 to 10 days after 8 to 10 or 15 days. So it is going to avoiding the further infections of urinary system. So we can, with that, we can uh, make the, uh, we can expect maximum outcome uh, from the Pakshagata. <clears throat> As it is commonly seen, TIA, transient ischemic attack, it is also called as mini stroke. Many of the patients, they come, they say, I got sudden onset of loss of speech. Sir, I got sudden onset of numbness and weakness. Family members came and they have made massage. They have given sort of honey. They have given adraka sarsa. They have given the shunakalka. And after a few seconds, like one second, I got this type of expressions they used to come. At that time, when they reporting to us, at that time, there was there is no symptoms. So this is transient ischemic attack is one of the uh, uh, conditions where it lost the sudden onset of weakness in one half of the body or some of the condition dysarthria. It lasts for a few seconds to few minutes. It happens when blood is, blood to the part of the brain is blocked or any thromboy emboli blocks in each part of the brain. So controlling centers when they block them, some of the patients they used to have sudden loss of speech. So the patients used to have weakness in upper limb, sudden, some of them lower limb or both right up and lower limb. Hence, so the, <coughs> the in, in such conditions, a repeated attack. Repeat other back on a second. Repeated attacks, repeated attacks, the may uh, convert, may some of the condition may convert into the stroke. So it, it happens suddenly with the numbness, weakness, one sided part of the body that is a dysarthria. Uh, TIA may not be the stroke, but a repeated attack may come. They will report to a doctor at that condition. We have to see his all conditions. And a TIA, TIA may convert into stroke. TIA may convert into TIA may convert after afterward in the TIA may convert into stroke. TIA may, may not be the stroke, but TIA may convert into the stroke. So in which the TIA management one also one of the very important stage of Pakshara, where the risk factors like once again hypertension may be there, TIA may patient, hypertension may be there, diabetes may be there, hyperlipidemia may be there, all to be evaluated. And mild hypertension, diabetes may I'll I'll Treatment may help in such condition. So the TIA conditions, risk factors should be controlled once again in appropriate the conditions, uh, the appropriate treatment. So when TIA is not controlled, for example, a patient is smoking, a patient is consuming alcohol or taking more uh, more cholesterol. In such condition, if you are not advised, you are, you are not advising to control or Avoid so automatically it is going to convert into stroke. Maximum patient watch have been observed. 
Hence, control of diabetes, control of hypertension may be, <coughs> you know, if they control the repeated, uh, the, uh, the TIA attacks may be stopped. In addition to that, what we used to have, if it is in fact stroke, some of the conditions, the, the, the clot is going to dissolve in by its own, such conditions. So, uh, the modern uh, the, the opinion also is needed. So, for that, and some, some of the conditions they used to put antiplatelet reagents. But in addition to that, Ayurveda, what, what we used to practice in our routine uh, practices, Ashwagandha, Vacha, Brahmi, Arjuna, Ishtimadu, in equal quantity, we are making a powder. And so, with the honey, with Ardhraka Swarasa, depending upon the condition, so you can adjust the dose or the Buddha. So in some of the conditions, Ardhraka Swarasa, where the patient is diabetic, where the patient was a couple non-diabetic obese in such condition, we can use Anupana as Madhu, and where the Vata Pradana Vikara, uh, Siddha Vata Jinnya in such condition, Dugda as a Anupana, it is to be administered as a oral, is also very wonderful to that. In addition to that, we are using Bhadwati, many of them they are using Bhadwati in Tamani, that's half VD. Here, the patient already regained the normal function. In that condition, no need of panchakarma. If you want to see, if you want to do it, give a rest, it means we, we keep, a, keep him for 10 to 15 days or one month gap. If it, the patient is there, has got uh, atherosclerotic disease or more hyperlipids or the hypertension in such condition, after controlling all these factors, we may go to, uh, we may switch over to the panchakarma like rechana or basti karma. So, this is preventing further consequences of the Pakshakata. And foremost important is assurance, psychological assurance. Many of the patients with the TIA, which I have seen in my practice, they used to have maximum high blood pressure, 250, 280, systolic, diastolic 130, 140, 150. If you tell that you are having a such much of BP, we can't tell to the patient. We, we can't tell to the patient. You have to convince the parents. So, a proper monitoring the BP with appropriate medicines, then within one or two days, they are going to settling all those risk factors. They are, they are going to prevent further, more major damages. So, this is the one of the important uh, thing, thing which used to have face the, in the routine uh, Pakshagata management. Second kind of Pakshagata, Margavana Dinda Pakshagata, once again, thromboembolic stroke, what we call uh, correlate. And uh, the Margavaradina, Vatakavajinia, or thromboembolic stroke. Once again, there are high risk factors like hypertension, diabetes, cholesterol to be controlled, and hypermarginal chikisa like Sarvanga Abhanga, Sarvanga Svedana, Parisheka, Udvartana, Mastishka, Sastika Shalapinda Sveda are usually routinely being everybody is practicing. But my, my, uh, the intention, what I, I would like to tell is. Say for example, Shuddha Vata Janya. So, Balya, then Vata Shamaka, Brahmana Karaka Taila, Vata Kafatmaka Janya, Pinda Taila, Patam Chukadi Taila, Karpura de Taila, they are beneficial rather than. Then, in case of Staule Pakshagata, Udvartana, Virechana, in case of old Pakshagatas, Parisheka, the role of Parisheka is very wonderful. We are practicing. As a regular part of the Pakshagata treatment, the Shimula Kashaya Parsheka or the Balamula Kashaya Parsheka, some of the condition we are using, the Black Kashaya, Kashaya Parsheka, 5 to 10 liters of Pakshagata, the Kashaya is to be prepared. And uh, we are doing 1 to 3 days, 3 to 7 days in some of the conditions, some conditions in which the Parsheka plays very important role in early case and especially post the stroke means three months, four months like that. So spasticity when it is developed, Parisheka plays important role rather than the other medicine. And in addition to that, we are doing Mastishka Chikisla. So of course, Shiro Pichu, Shiro Dara, Shiro Benga, Shiro Basti. So of course, they are, Shiro Basti plays important role, but it's very, uh, 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 the financial burden to the patient. Of course, in the early stages, it is very beneficial rather than the later case stage. Means after six months, after eight months, we are doing, uh, which are not uh, got any such 
satisfactory result from master school. Whereas Uddhavata Janya, Daurvalya Janya, or the the Dhatu Kshayajana conditions in which Shastikishala Kunda Sveta were based on repeated courses. So here, this is the Bhai Paramadhan Chikitsa. Then Mridhu Vinayachara. So as per my opinion, of course, in, in our texts have been told. So Vinayachara, but Mridhu Vinayachara, there is Nayakta Vinayachara, yes. Vata Kavajanya Pakshagata, whereas Taulya, hypercholesterol, hypertension, and he is yogya, then only helps. Otherwise, Vruddha, uh, then Dhatukshayajanya, uh, and uh, those who are ayogya, in which the Virechana makes complications other than to cure the disease. Hence, the application of Virechana is very important in uh, the Pakshaka. Whereas, Basti plays very important role. We are practicing routinely different kinds of Basti in Margavaja and the Pakshaka. Sorry, the Mustari Apana Basti Kashaya Basti, then uh, the Shimula Kashaya Basti, then we are using <coughs> the Estima Dukshira Siddha Basti, and also different uh, the Basti Kalpanas we are adopting. So, in Yoga Basti pattern, some of the condition Karma Basti and Kal Basti, the sustainability of the Basti we are using. So, and also we are using Nasha, Shirvara Taila 101, Dhanandra Taila 101, uh, Nasha Karma. Uh, for seven days. So anyway, Bhadrachana, Basti or Nasya or Bhai Parman Chikisita. During the course, we are advising the patient in chronic cases. Repeatedly they have to admit giving a gap of two uh, uh the, the, the gap of, the giving gap <coughs> by which uh, repeated courses of panchakarma very very wonderful. We are tell, we are asking many patients to come after one month, one and a half month, two months. So we are giving appointment according to the patient once again, readmitting and taking the treatment. So every course of treatment giving a, a fruitful result. Patient is not able to walk in the first course, so he walks in the second course. And not able to, a patient is not having any finger movements. She, she used to get the third move, third. So as a, the patients are telling, yes, sir, we have already been taken Basti Karma, sir. So we have been taken the Nasya Karma, sir. Of course. One course may not help. Two course, three course, four course. We are giving like like months, years together. We are treating. They are coming out of this uh, chronic disease. This is the Bhai Parimal Chikisa also role, and the Shaman Chikisa is also having him the maximum role. Yes, we are using Yekanga Rasa, Bhradwat Sintamani Rasa, Yogendra Rasa, Rasaraja Rasa. Especially. I am using more resources. In this uh, forum, Dr. Gopi Krishna sir has been uh, shared his practical experience. I too also share the resources is plays important role in uh, Pakshagata, especially in acute conditions, Bhradwar Chintamnirasa, Rasarajarasa. In chronic conditions of the stroke, Yogendrasa, depending upon the age, depending upon the condition, you can administer the yogas. And in addition to that, Shura Yukta Pakshagata, joint pains in such condition, Rasna Iranda the Kashaya, Rasna Sakta Kashaya, Gandharva Sthadi Kashaya, and Ashtavarga Kashaya plays important. Or making the decoctions of with Manjishta, Sariva, Haridra, Daru Haridra, Raksha, Kalamek, Vacha, Ativisha, Katuki, uh, is, is giving I say, combinations. They used to make a fresh Kashayas every day. If they are taking it every day, 10 to uh, 5, 5 to 10 ml every day, 3 times a day, is also giving wonderful result in uh, the Margavaran in the Pakshagata. As we used to have so many, in fact, uh, cases, so I don't want to explain more things because I am coming to the end of the, uh, because I would like to share some pictures of the patients. And in addition to that, the Vata Pitish in the Pakshagata can be correlated with the intracerebral or intra. Uh, intracerebral hemorrhage or bleed is caused by bleed within the brain tissue. I may be very, very much fast, so uh, you may you may be not under understanding. So I will go slow. Intracerebral hemorrhage caused by bleeding within the brain tissue. Once again, the oozing of the blood in the cerebral vessel, making the clot inside the brain. Suppressing the brain tissue. Smaller the bleed, bigger the bleed, massive bleed. 
so hence the symptoms arising the bleeding areas where it is one of the life threatening type of stroke so brain deprived the oxygen and the blood supply hence it is going to suppressing the brain tissues and commonly it is once again caused by hypertension when the patient comes bp may be normal before hemorrhagic condition his bp may be low guys the the rupture of the vessel in the brain it is going to giving rise to hypertension and because of hypertension some of the arterial malformation ruptures angiomas ruptures or head injuries or the continuous taking blood thinners or rupture of aneurysms or the any other bleeding disease may also cause such a cerebral bleeding this is intracerebral hemorrhage once again very 10 to uh, 15% 20% of the patients of pakshagata used to see common signs and symptoms the clinical evaluation of ischemic strokes and the infarct strokes is very difficult of course the sudden onset it is a sudden onset which came the patient complains of serious shola and sometimes nausea lasts for hours some then they vomit and some then they having a confusion state and some of the patients used to have ardha sharira kriya hane or numbness so some of the patient they goes to goes goes into unconscious stage within uh, 12 hours so all these symptoms are sudden onset whereas some of the massive infarct cases also sudden onset while sleeping early in the morning they used to get the stroke but as the ischemic numbness heaviness weakness or in else the symptoms will be slow so clinical evaluation is very difficult of course we have to assess it through clinical examination if it is, and if it is not possible immediately uh, the how to send the patient for computer tomography or mri very important so they gives a clue is it infarct stroke it is a ischemic stroke the ischemic strokes or hemorrhagic stroke because entirely line treatment is in ayurveda also in ayurveda also in the modern sense also the entire treatment is cheap so in addition to that there are several investigations like angiography coronary coronary proper study eeg and other the uh, and other <coughs> lab investigation and other investigations also helps to assess the stage and complication of the disease hence the prognosis mild moderate massive once again the hemorrhagic smaller hematomas in different areas that in cortex area they are having good prognosis whereas the moderate mid brain or hind brain or massive bleed in the mid brain or hind brain wherever it may be some the time it may be pons cerebellum or or medullary plangeta so they are very risk rather than the the smaller hematoma even though it is a smaller hematoma taken place in cerebellum or pons or medullary plangeta they are very life risk patients friends mild hemorrhagic cases they will recover <clears throat> very quickly whereas moderate mass hemorrhages they take they need lot of the care whereas mass hematomas they are to be admitted in icus and they have to take a proper treatment then only they will come out of all these complications in intracerebral hemorrhage cases it is medical emergency mild moderate is mild is good whereas in moderate and severe in such condition they need i see intensive care not they were they are going to stabilizing all the risk factors prevention of complications very it is very needed because the the <coughs> uh the patients here they are used to develop pneumonia and other risk they are going to getting so for that the prevention of complication stabilization of risk factor case special care in icu controls all this then we can switch over to ayurveda in such ayurveda conditions suvarna smuta sekarasa dasaraj rasa mahamanjishta dikshaya helps for better suvarna smuta sekara pitta shamaka here there is the dominance of the pitta so hence this resolving the hematoma and some the cases dasaraj rasa also plays important role so here mahamanjishta dikshaya which also helps in uh, treating the uh, resolving the hematoma in the brain whereas 
it is very important to i would like to share this uh, slide more because shodhana chikitsa mrudu abhyanga mrudu svedana no mastashtya means this is my experience mrudu abhyanga means so we should not do as vataka vatmaka prakshagat margaanaj prakshagat doing so there is no need of because there is a chance of enhancement of pitta once again the patient may get complication mrudu svedana mrudu abhyanga is to be only sufficient but no shiro pitu shiro basti shiro bhanga or shiro dhara hot the oil or hot the making the it is uh, the pouring over the head or the mastic chikitsa may precipitate the cause of the the epileptic seizures the where the focal lesion of the scar which have been formed in the brain by means of hematoma some of the cases i got epileptic seizures over the the panchakarma table itself so hence in spite we want to do we are de- we are telling them to see the jala parashaka some we are doing kshira dhara takra dhara kshira siddha kshira takra dhara but recently we carried in research work on hemorrhagic cases fatty cases kshira siddha nirogasti ashti malu kshira siddha nirogasti and ashti malu tail anvasana basti ashti malu tail anvasana basti in which the uh, we we did this the but multiple the hemorrhagic hemorrhagic areas they have been <coughs> multiple the hematomas the result so as a part of research which have taken here the eight days some of the condition after the course we have taken for eight days three niroha and the five anvasana ishtimadu taila so basti niroha anvasana basti kshira siddha ishtimadu kashaya niroha basti and uh, we have done we have done the, the repeated courses in the same cases where the the bleed area is more they have got good result i would like to share the few slides in the future and uh, the modern medical science also invented lot whereas there are so many bleeds like subdural subarachnoid and sub the, the massive bleeds they used to have a burrow operation they used to evacuate this then uh, the they are doing the evacuation of the clot by means of the different surgical procedures and i, I used to refer them to neurosurgeons and uh, in addition to that the surgical the treatment and the infarction also uh, they are doing hemicraniotomy which reduces the pressure of the brain the patient will survive and uh, regain his uh, the compl- and the regain his life pakshagat treatment what is what i tell told now the margavarna janya srikshrava janya or we are used to uh, intracerebral hemorrhage or we used to have a tia but it is not only limited to that patient is having sandivata patient is having amamata patient is having vandu it is having dehydration cox hiv hiv cc post delivery ihd congestive cardiac failure seizures post cardiac surgery post hemicraniotomy all such cases they, uh, they come to our uh, ipd and opd in such condition we have to concentrate their associated complaints also sandivata and amavata they, they 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 due to that pain and swelling they they they, they don't stand hence we have to adopt some sandivata and amavata treatment pandu is i have seen more than 7 to 8 cases in my experience young 20 25 years old patients they admitted to the stroke when you used to see the the hemoglobin hemoglobin is 3 grams 4 grams after proper Uh, the maintenance of the blood level by means of sending the patient to higher center for the blood transfusion then we have been adopting iron treatment after the normalcy of the hemoglobin patient completely recovered some of the patients they used to get stroke with the dehydration like severe vomiting severe loose motion in such condition hydration therapy they need once again the modern management pulmonary cox with strokes i have seen so many cases so in which the cox treatment along with <coughs> along with the, the pakshaka treatment so like in the same way the chai we hbs is also sutika post means a post delivery sutika janya 
Sudhika post. Then I have the CCF season, the CCF congestive cardiac failure shows I have seen. And uh, material stenosis and arterial stenosis, especially uh, aortic uh, stenosis cases, embolic shows. And after treating, controlling the, the cardiac problems, when we are suturing to Ayurveda, most of them, the embolus dissolved and they, they made normal. In such conditions, we are using Riddhya Dravyas like the Prabhakaravati, Arjuna Arishta, and cartoon capsules. So it is once again the associated. Then seizures, once again, we have to go for modern medical, modern medicine. Then uh, with the opinion of the modern medical uh, faculty and uh, post cardiac surgery, the after the stunt operation, after a few years, and some of the transplant and the open heart surgeries or uh, the coronary heart bypass surgeries, they used to get these strokes. I have seen such cases also in such conditions. Cardiac management along with the Mrudu, Abhyangar, Mrudu exercises and Shaman Chikistha. Post hemicronotomy, after the post hemicronotomy, patient admit there is no need of doing much of Astrichka Chikistha because the brain is beneath the skin, hence, and uh, the skull is within, within the abdomen. So we should have to give a perfume with the uh, Mrudu Abhyangar, Mrudu exercises along with the physiotherapy treatment and shamanas play a very important role in such conditions. So <clears throat> these are my few experiences I would like to share. Uh, as, as the patient's photos are having actually videography, it is not, I, 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 what I observed, it is not running properly in this uh, the webinar seminar. So hence I made it into photographies that I would like to sh share. This is one of the, my recent uh, uh, patient has got massive cerebral bleed. He came with a conscious to my OPD. On that day, there was a strike. His BP was 280 by 150. Then I convinced the patient, I don't want to see, you have to go higher thing. Because he is going to getting so many complications in 2-3 days. Then they have, they went to higher institution and they was admitted. What I told, he went into coma stage for after several days. He was admitted in ICU and the uh, conservative or the emergency management has been carried for more than 40 days. Still the patient has not got the consciousness. Then the patient, once again after that, discharging, came back to hospital. Sir, we know the prognosis. Till the death, he can be there in your hospital. We are not claiming anything. Then they have got confidence and I will treatment because of this propagation. Then we admitted, believe it or not, we started our Shaman Chikistha of Ayurveda into the Royal Stoop only. After the patient's Royal Stoop feeding with medicine along with the food, three, four days, patient started to have movements. And immediately, it is because of the cerebral bleed, why not we tried our surgical, the, the research, Vasti uh, 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 Karma in this. So, Ishtima Dukshira Siddha, Niro Vasti, the Ishtima Dukshira Siddha, Anvasan Vasti, we have administered in this case for eight days. Patients got conscious and started moving. And uh, this is the case what you have been, would like to tell you. After 15 days, patient removed the rice to started oral feeding and oral medicine. We started Mrudu Abhyanga Svedana. But I told second course after 15 days gap, we have given second course, same treatment. Patient started sitting and patient has uh, started the moment upper limb. Patient now completely recovered. Patient was there in the hospital for more than 44 days. Patient after 44 days, patient discharged from the hospital. Now he is performing his routine duty. In, in, in this case, what I would like to tell is, in spite there is a risk, they are having confidence on us. Why not to be tried? So I, we, we have tried it and we have got success. Such a, so many cases we have got successes. So this is second case of hemorrhage and patient is also thalamic bleed, massive bleed and we have given same course of Basti and Shaman Chikistha. After then he has got wonderful improvement and he started and he, but upper limb, the fine moments have not been found because it came after one month of the, uh, uh, the bleed. Of course, it is now the patient is in, in the treatment only. <clears throat> this is another case having bleed 
in the uh, left uh, thalamic. Once again, patient has started the uh, voice to feeding medicines. Along with that, we have started the panchakarma. Then patient has removed the voice to. He has started feeding and he started to eat. And after panchakarma treatment, he's, he has also recovered and now he's walking. This is another very important and interesting case I would like to share with you. One is Mr. Basappa, who has got medulla oblong metabolism. Around 65 years old, he was admitted in hair center. Then, where he went into coma, tracheostomy done, conservative treatment given. He has not got conscious for two months. After two months, the patient, uh, in the, at that time, in the hospital itself, patient has tried to put royal stove. Royal stove was not entered. Hence, they have made peg, <coughs> administered the peg feeding. Then uh, the feeding started and the medicine spray started for the peg only. The patient, after getting the conscious, they told it's very difficult to cure. Uh, you, you take discharge and go to your house. Then at that uh, moment, they came and uh, reported to me. Then uh, uh, I too also refused, but patient got confidence and I will. So parents and patients, uh, the confidence made me to uh, get success. And uh, we started 7 6 up through the Royal to, to the PEG administration only. After 15 days, after 15 days, you believe or not, patient started to walk. So he was here for a, a one and a half month in my hospital. And uh, recently, he had, uh, with the peg feeding only, we started oral feeding. So we just started oral feeding. We sent a price for ENT doctor opinion. First time when he sent, there is total abitur spalsy. He is not able to cure. So you have to feed from the peg. Room. Then after giving basti and nasty uh, chikasa, patient has got good relief and uh, slowly we started liquid diets through the mouth and slowly and we uh, he started to swallow some drops of uh, milk some drops of water uh, ganji then uh, we sent once again ENT specialist for opinion once again that uh, doctor has did, did the <coughs> examination he has given and he has been satisfied and he has given assurance that so no no it has been improving well some half the epiglottis has been now improved. So you have to drink the food or anything by changing the portion like right side because right side epiglottis is working. So whenever you used to swallow the food or the medicine, you used to make bending. Now uh, uh, the same same kind of same uh, the procedure of the feeding has been continued along with the medicines and uh, now he is able to swallow through the mouth then the peg was removed about uh, one week back only he came to me and the wound has been healed now he's taking the oral this is a very wonderful success story in my uh, 30 year experiences where the middle of the bleeding can also be treated well with the ayurveda without having it so many complications we faced of course we have taken it as a challenge and we have did it and patient now recovered and he now taking oral <coughs> this is another bleeding case Patient was bedridden with a bed source, and after giving basti, patient able to walk. This is another next case. Once again, we have given basti. This is also recovered now. This is another lady got admitted in the hospital. Now she alone she walks and she is performing all, all routine activities. So these are how what we would like to tell the the I would like to tell is. The, there are so many risks are there. We have to take him, them as a challenge. We have to convince the patient very well. We have to do according to observation of a proper applications where this is essential. Then the, what we are administering, the following of the treatment is also uh, making a success in our uh, the study <clears throat> and uh, we used to have so many complications in the Pakshagata. 
pneumonitis, pneumonia, spasticity. Commonly, pneumonia is to be found. Old cases, they used to come six months after six months, after four months, eight months, one year, two years like that. In such condition, also management is very difficult. Patient with seizures also very difficult. They used to have, while well, walking, they used to have fractures. So those fractures complications have to be managed. So many patients, while walking in the ward, they fell down. Where well, when the changing the changing the bed, the position on the bed, they fell down from the cot, they have got a fracture. So we have to take care of all these things, avoiding the fissures, seizures, avoiding the fractures, fractures to be avoidable in passive movements, and avoiding the pneumonia. If a smaller symptoms come and is observed, then immediately securing to the treatment is very important. Then we should take care when the patient is in the ward. Every day we have to see his back, his buttocks. Is he developed problem? If it's so, if redness is there, we have to instruct the patient parents, take care of him, put a powder, put a dry cloth, and take up and down, you have to change the positions. Then only we are we are going to avoiding such complications. When these complications arise, it is very difficult to come out of the complication, the come out of the risk. Before uh, we are coming to the end of uh, my talk. This is the punas karana, that is a rehabilitation. After restoring some factors, some uh, conditions, it is uh, giving assurance to the patients. The physical, mental health is very important. Restoration. So we have to tell them a proper guidance. So it is a proper psychological support. Yeah, and anyway, you are going to recovery. Nothing to worry. You have got now the lower limb. Will get the upper limb. So that is very important. We have to assure them. And uh, at the time of the, posi the positioning, very important. After the stroke, maximum patients, they used to keep the paralyzed into flex mode. When they are keeping in the flexing, they are going to get in the spasticity. With that, they are going to have deformity like this. Or they may not walk by bending of the lower limb. It is very difficult to make the straightening. So hence, ask the patients to keep four, uh, the, both the arms and legs in a supine portion straight and finger must be relaxed and keep a weight over it. It is going to avoiding the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the flexions <coughs> of the fingers. Once the flexion or constriction deformity develops, it is very difficult. Keeping this, we can make like, but by flexing, it is not able to make the relaxing the uh, fingers. So hence, education to the patient and parents, very important. The role is the patients and parents also there. So we have to educate them how the patient is to be sit. Uh, sit uh, the patient is to be made to sit. How the patient should be change the position, left to right, right to left. How the patient is to be made exercise of the knee, how the patient to be exercised the, uh, the joints, finger joints, every day, three to five times, are they doing or not? We have to search them. How long they are taking care of patient, the parents, uh, by the parents, it is going to giving a wonderful outcome. And the psychological support, we have to assure them, yeah? no, no, you are going to recovering. You are, we have to assure them, we have to make them uh, mentally strong to come out of it. So that also helps the patient. And very important is joint gait. Why the spastic gait, why the hemiplegic gait comes is because of stiffness of the joint. When the ligaments are going to stiffing, they are going to be getting uh, the restriction of movement. So hence, passive movements of the joint, clockwise, anti-clockwise, extension, flexion, so all the joints of the arms and extremities, very important. They prevent the further complications like rigidity or spasticity. It is a team effort. It is a team effort. It is not only a doctor. It is a physician's effort. Emergency complications, other associated complaints, etc., etc., to be assessed and to be given direction, they have to follow. It is the duty of physician. The patient take care of like attender, ward wise, and nursing staff. And other staff, they have to often a visit and they have to guide them, they have to motivate them, they have to give a proper 
the medicine demonstration and uh, cheerfulness in our environment are going to be giving much uh, benefits to the patients. And meanwhile, physiotherapy also plays important role. So, physiotherapist will do different kinds of exercises. What the physiotherapist use in the physiotherapy room, same is to be followed in the room also or in the house also. So, the courses are to be repeatedly done, also use wonderful way. And Panchakarma therapist, very important role because some of the patients they used to give so many complications while doing. Patient may be having fever at that time you are doing, Basti Karma or doing Abhyanga, next day patient should be high degree of fever, maybe patient goes into uh, the, the delay of three, one week or two weeks treatment. So Panchakarma procedures, how they are doing, are they doing in a proper way or a proper time, proper dose, in a proper mixing, every, the role is very important. And the speech therapist where the Broca's area, motor <coughs> area in which minute stage convert into aphasia, aphasic to dysarthria. In such condition, speech therapy also. We are training the patient, we are training the patients to make the word, and we are telling the patient, parents to leave the children with the patient. They used to talk with the their affected uh, the patients. So that also helps and uh, that makes the cheerfulness of the patient. And uh, psychotherapy, once again, you have to give assurance. And also the psycho psychology, the uh, <coughs> psychotherapist also guide and they will assure the patients uh, for the recovery. Very more, very much important is patient and parents' role is very important. Patient have to have a positive uh, nature and parents to have follow our instructions. So patient, patient should have a confidence. I am coming out of it. When patient makes then he will come, come out. Patient, if he suffers, oh, I have got this kind of disease. I am not coming out of it. Every time he used to cry, every time he used to not take me food, every time he used to, uh, he, will, he want to die. Such patients, very difficult to cure, but you have to motivate them. You are coming out of it and you have to follow my instruction like that. And uh, we have to observe and motivate the parents to follow the, uh, follow the instructions which have been given by the uh, doctors of the team, uh, the team, what, you, what they are giving them guidance. Hence, patient and parent is also very important. So, before before uh, going to, uh, 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 I would like to <coughs> tell, I would like to share this, which I have been written, one book on Lakwa Shapawalla. So, it is about 80 page book in which uh, there are so many information to the patient and parents. It's not for medical medical uh, medical students or medical, you know, of course, you having medical knowledge, but when the, it is in Kannada language, so when the patient, when the patients and parents are reading this, how the patient behave, how the patient has to come out of it, how the parents have to take care in the house, and uh, the, the typical, the procedures, exercises, and uh, the follow-ups, uh, it has been explained in this book. It has been uh, giving much better uh, help to the patients and parents. So many patients have been commented, uh, they have been given uh, good comments on this book. So it helps because the propagation and education and prevention of the stroke is also very important of the day. Before going to conclusion, I am once again uh, the in that cell, I would like to tell proper diagnosis, make the patient come out of the uh, maximum benefits. Uh, then very important is controlling of risk factors, very important. Early aerobic management, adopting very good, good result. And the rehabilitation plays important role. Educating the patient and parent, very important. So this plays very important in preventing the stroke in treating the stroke and coming out of the risk factors. So uh, this is education of the patient and parents is mandatory. So all this team effort makes good achievement in optimum, you know, achievement, optimum outcome in the management of Akshay I once again thank the organizer giving me an opportunity. A special thanks to 
uh, Madam uh, Saeed Akhtar, who have given me an opportunity to share my practical experience in this forum. And I thank Dr. Madhav Digavisar has called me, sir, once you have to come to Ballari. But this webinar seminar made you made us to join in this uh, uh, the CISEX, CISEX, so oh, it is a um, uh, media. And uh, I thank Dr. R.S. Ghanige, all the faculty at the Kaisik department. I thank, thank you and all. Thank you and all. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir some questions in the comment box, sir. Can we move towards? Please, please, please. Sir, uh, the first question is from Dr. Padmavati Padma Patil. In some patients, we see repeated attack of stroke. What may be the cause? Hello, sir. When they're not controlling risk factors like hypertension or diabetes or preventive medicines like what we are Ayurveda we are using, but we used to have an opinion of the modern medical doctors, preventive medicine like aspirin or clopidogrel when they are living, they used to have a repeated attacks. So we are advising them to put the opinion of the doctor and they have to continue the medicine. Okay, sir. So next is from uh, Padmavati Patil. Is there any Daiva Vipasha Chikitsa for Pakshadhata? Yes. Daiva Vipasha Chikitsa, there are some centers are there. Mm -hmm. But the confidence of the patient, once again. But because there is a pathology behind it, where the patient is having mild damages or the minor, minor symptoms, its conditions, they are afraid more. In such condition, the, the psychological support itself is the treatment. But uh, some centers, I have seen people centers, because I have visited several centers where the Pakshagata treatment is going on uh, for uh, uh, the traditional people they are treating. I have visited uh, Kautur, I have visited uh, Alga, I have visited uh, different uh, areas. In some area, in Badami Taluk, there is one, they are giving uh, Basma, Vibhuti, applying Vibhuti uh, on the affected part. They used to have relief, but uh, as per my opinion, they are giving a lot of diet restrictions. Diet itself is going to controlling the uh, uh, cause, but I have not such a, uh, confidence over the Daiva because there is a specific cause, specific lakshana, specific the positive symptoms and signs and uh, the investigations, they, uh, they are giving guidance for us to recover. Instead of giving Daiva if the Apashra plays important. Okay, sir. So next question is from Mahesh Mahesh. Good morning, sir. There is the folklore practice in Pakshaghata, Paravata, Raktapana, and Abhyanga. What may be yes. the mode of action? Yes. When I was uh, started my practice about 25 years back with the Pakshaghata, I got, uh, I met one uh, folklore doctor. He told the same thing. Ash, uh, <coughs> The Pauravata means Ashwatta Kaste Mardanam Gunavardam has told a one sloka. Means the Pauravata is to be taken, the chicken of Pauravata, entrance of the Pauravata, blood of the Pauravata are helpful. It is one of the traditional treatment. Applying, a, 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 making, a, taking the Pauravata and a, a, the blood of power of this to be applied over the affected part and chicken of the power is to be given. Have told how it is possible. 
and I went to geology uh, professor in my local college, and uh, they have expressed that the gut of the boravaka is very strong, and uh, it can live for six months without food also. It some of the time it uh, eats some the small small stones, but the gut is very uh, neuro fiber in nature. So uh, it may be there, but uh, some of the patients are coming. Those who are taking uh, the non wages I used to tell them if you are doing, you can take in there. But but uh, I am not that is because uh, uh, the uh, the this kind of uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, not, not acceptable because. Uh, uh, this is there in the tradition for our rakta lepana and uh, there is a mums uh, of the for is to be uh, boiled in uh, the uh, boiled and it is to be given but ashwatha kaste vardhanam gunavardhanam has told some but uh, i am not practicing for our okay sir uh, the next question is is there any relation between Ob and Pakshagata, sir. Yes, definitely. Saulya is one of the Kapha Meda Dosha in which there is a uh, difficult, uh, the, there is a hypercholesteremia they used to cause. In whereas the Vadapitha Janya, Sardashitva Janya, very, very easy in some of the conditions, conditions we, can, we may treat. But whereas Pakshagata with obesity is very uh, difficult to, because they have to we have to make uh, the reduction of the weight very difficult because they walk in the the making the patient walk very difficult so the obesity once again the fat collection inside the blood vessel they prone to get the so, okay sir sir next question is from dr shriya the patient may get the stroke some those who are having hyper cholesterol cholesterol in the blood where the uh, Obesity person having more of uh, the cholesterol, the cerebral vessels have been uh, uh, blocked in such condition, they may get the stroke. All the obesity patients may not get the stroke. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, uh, next question is from Dr. Shriya Joshi, sir. Uh, she is asking, you have shown the picture of medulla oblongata bleed patient. So she is asking, yeah. what treatment did you give, sir? Yes. In that case, it was a treatment of eight months. Yesterday only, about two days back only, he came and uh, for the follow-up. It's not a one day because, once again, I told you, know, there are so many ups and downs when treating. What uh, he was administered at the previous doctor by the hemorrhagic treatment in the previous institution hospital, we continued it. In addition to that, we started Mrudu Abhyanga, Mrudu Svedana with Kshirabala Taila. And uh, Matra Basti with Estimadu uh, Thaila and along with the passive movement and we are we are given neck exercises and also the gurgling uh, the gurgling of the uh, Trifla Kashaya in the mouth and splitting it out like that and uh, Samana Chikisa once again uh, the Yogendra Rasa half BD along with that uh, Ekanga Rasa we have given administered and uh, it's not a uh, commonly, but every moment there will be changes. So we have changed uh, according to the condition, eight months treatment. So we have uh, administered according to the changes of the complications. Okay, sir. Uh, next okay. question, Dr. Uh, Bharati, Bharati Purohit. She is asking, please explain about role of pranayama and yoga therapy, sir. Yes, definitely. Pakshagata case should be trained well, educated well. Pranayama can made, but yoga therapy may, may not be possible. Those who have not able to perform the different asanas, because one side there is a Pakshagata. Also helps. Definitely, if the patient is having right, right stroke, he can close nose and he can do the pranayama. Anlo 
and all the five kinds of pranayama can be performed, which enhances the oxygen capacity of the blood. The brain, when it's getting maximum amount of oxygen to the brain, automatically the brain cells are going active. So rather than pran and the, rather than yoga, the pranayama definitely plays important role. Yoga plays also the role if, if the performance can be for uh, a patient is fit to perform such act, the yoga asana, he can perform. Instead of yoga, passive the joint, very important. Okay, sir. Next question is from Dr. Shriya TK. Good morning, sir. Vata Pitya Janya Pakshaghata, as explained by you, can also be taken under consideration of Dhatuk Shaya Janya. Can you please clarify, sir? Uh, she further posts a question. ICH can also be considered as Dhatukshaya Janya, considering the Raktakshaya due to hemorrhage. Hmm. Yes, I got my own opinion. It's not uh, it's what you are telling is exactly the text. But uh, as per my opinion, Vata Pitta Janya Pakshagata can be correlated with cerebral hemorrhages or intercerebral hemorrhages. Dhatukshaya, in, in terms, is Rasakshaya, Raktakshaya, Mamsakshaya, Majakshaya. So we have to, Kshaya means here, a patient having old age, dehydration, lack of fluid leads to Dhatukshaya, Rasa leads to stroke. We have to consider them as a Rasakshaya into such condition. As I have been given the example, Raktakshaya means here, the hemorrhage case may not be considered as a Raktakshaya because his hemoglobin is normal. Whereas chronic anemias, chronic anemias may be considered as Raktakshaya. I have seen several cases of anemia. We used to see 8 gram, 6 gram, 4 gram, 5 gram, like that. In such condition, Raktakshaya we to consider. Shosha, Shushka are this is related the kshaya, maybe that is mamsakshaya, and some of the majakshaya means what we used to have the, the, the essentials of the fat when it is also to be considered majakshaya. Such the dhatukshaya is entirely as per this is my concept to be entirely different than the, uh, the, the ICH. Next question is to be. Almost all the sloka Pakshagatas are Sangha, not Governor Jin. I see Vimarga Jinya. Vimarga Gamana Jinya Pakshagata. Here the blood is oozing in. There is no Kshaya. Instead, it is going to compress in the brain. So, because of Pitta Prakopa, effect over the Pitta. Uh, the Vishnu Krishna Guna over the Raktavas, Trotas, or Rakta Narika, giving rest to tending, tending to enlarging the vessel by which the ruptured vessels, rupt vessel, rupture of the vessel takes place by which the blood starts to ooze, whose blood is good, going to collect in the, the brain cells. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, further, thank you has come, sir. No other questions, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for such an interesting session, sir. Now I request Dr. Madhav Digavi, sir, professor and head department of postgraduate studies in Kaya Chikitha, to present word of thanks, sir. Sir, Namaste, sir. Good morning, good morning, sir. Namaste. Sir, it was a very excellent uh, presentation. 
um it is 18th amongst the series but uh, we have given all new information regarding uh, shamana chikitsa panchakarma chikitsa sattvavaja chikitsa and really it was a very good experience of uh, case demonstration and your approach is really very good for practitioners and uh, pg scholars sir thank you sir you have covered uh, some areas where which have been left you have given clear cut uh, management strategies protocols and very happy that you have given uh, two three new things one is the total uh, team work which is very important in uh, pakshagata chikitsa second thing what you have given is the avastha bedena chikitsa the, the estimadu kshira basti and estimadu anavasana basti trial is a fantastic and two cases of uh, bleeding and uh, stroke hemorrhagic stroke it was really encouraging and it has boosted the confidence of uh, the audience and delegates so i am really glad to have this session from you sir uh, in principal shape lot of pressure is there patients are there still you have taken your time to give a very good talk on uh, this webinar series and uh, i am very happy that in the initial we have given uh, a reference for taranath pandit ji's uh, friend who stays in gadag that is also very good in for uh, all of us and uh, really your uh, presentation style is very much easy and you are uh, making a complicated subject into very easy subject this skill is because of your 30 35 years of experience practice handling with the patients and that uh, confidence what you have given and even on paravata shakrut uh, a beautiful explanation you have given the guts of uh, guts of uh, paravata what uh, biological opinion you have given it is also an excellent uh, information thank you very much sir on behalf of uh, principal uh, dr sayed attar fatima madam the administration and the department of pg studies in kai chikitsa and all the delegates practitioners house surgeons pg scholars thank you very much sir thank you once again thank you sir last Mother one sir. word i would like to share the uh, mother sir yes sir hello one word i would like to share yes sir i am very much proud of you and uh, i would like to uh, convey my all young scientist ayurveda is a science we can't expect a result within one month two months three months five months you must have your own confidence on your science as well as develop the confidence over the patients are going to give good result so your personal effort is very important yes sir personal commitment is very important yes sir personal gaining the knowledge is very important so i request all of you work hard take the proper guidance of your renowned professors are there experts are there like madhav dikavi sir ashok patil and uh, the ganger so many professors their experienced staff is there take them take the guidelines and, uh, and have a confidence on science and as, as well as motivate your uh, patients uh, encourage the patients to put a confidence on ayurveda and uh, read more work more after 3 years 4 years 5 years you will have a success in your life don't be negative on every each point be positive so any chronic disease you may take either it could be pakshagata or it could be sandhyavata or it could be amavata any chronic whenever you take so you know, do hundreds and hundreds of study you will get one success definitely i thank the organizers in mother digavi sir for your valuable uh, 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 opportunity given for me to share in this webinar seminar thank you thank you sir ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬಹಳ ಸಮಯ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಏನೇ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಕಡೆ